Hello everyone and welcome you all to this channel my research support so friends in today's video we will be discussing about consensus AI it is the most powerful AI tool that will help you a lot in preparing your literature reviews and other research related documents so primarily it is an excellent search engine not a chatbot but you can do almost everything that you can perform by using chat GPT and other related AI tools but unlike all these AI tools you will be able to perform several other things by using this consensus AI which is necessary as far as research writing is concerned for example extracting the information from top-notch refereed journals with proper intake citations you can apply different filters you can limit this number of research articles for a specific year you can apply sample size and lot of other stuff that you can do but to understand each and everything carefully do not skip any part of this video so without any further ado let's start the very first step is you have to visit this consensus.app and you will be able to log in through your login ID and password. If you don't have any account, then you will be able to sign up freely. So you can click on this option sign up. You can also log in with your Google account or Facebook account or simply you can proceed with your email address. So right now I have already created an account. So I'll be able to log in with my login ID and password. After login, you will be able to visit this page and believe me, the interface of this consensus is really very simple. So you can ask any of your research questions here. For example, if I'm asking does creating help build muscle, then you will get each and everything about your question, like from summary, from gen answers from generative AI, and also the answers those are extracted from the research articles. Okay, so most importantly, you have these two features, synthesize and co-pilot. So this option is synthesizing overall findings for your research questions in the form of summary and consensus meter. You can make it off. So through this feature, Copilot, you'll be getting answers to generative AI like we'll get in ChatGPT or other generative AI tools. But the most important thing is you'll be getting these answers with proper citations and most of the times these citations are correct. So still it is recommended to dig into these citations in order to confirm this. Okay, and in the last part, you'll be getting answers to your research questions from specific research article. Like this is the answer to your research question, which is extracted from this research article. This is the second answer, third answer. So this is, I feel, the most important and interesting part. And here under this co-pilot, if you click on this any specific citation, then you will be able to redirect it into that research article whereas journal metrics is also mentioned that is again one most important part like this specific research article is cited 163 times this obviously reflect the quality of this research article and you can trust this research article and if you are using this research article as a citation in your research paper then definitely the impact of your research paper will also be influenced now let us discuss the most creative feature of this consensus ai and that is its consensus meter means whenever you ask any research question of yes or no type then possibly for this question does creatine help build muscle it is 92 percent yes possibly eight percent and no zero percent so you can utilize this consensus meter in order to identify the gaps in specific fields under specific topics like i may ask a research question like whether a lot of research is carried out on this specific topic in last five years so that i'll be getting the answer in yes or no and based on that you will decide whether you have to prepare a literature review on that whether you have to select that topic for your research or not now let me take you to the more deeper so you have to click on this filter option this is an excellent feature of this consensus.ai where you can limit this information for a specific year if you need this information from research article those are published in 2024 you can click here if you need specific information from the research article those have minimum 10 number of citations you can put here as 10 and methods so this is one of the best feature which is embedded in this consensus ai and as far as my knowledge you cannot find this feature in any other ai tools where if you are performing meta-analysis systematic review you can limit the research articles those only include this meta-analysis systematic review and all other study types then if you want research articles from control studies you can tick this on from human studies sample size if you want more accurate information more accurate summary consensus meter then you may put the sample size for example 10 you can apply this so that this will ensure a more accurate information similarly you can increase the number of size and right now we have got 
94% yes and 6% no so similarly you can apply these filters in order to get the information according to your research need then you can mention the duration you can just include specific journals if you want the information from the QN journals you can take this for domain yes if you want this information to be extracted from any specific field you can take your field if you are working on a specific topic that is limited to any specific country then obviously you can take that country so that you will get information on that specific topic within that country only okay so this is the one thing but not only you will get the answers to your research questions but you will be able to generate different sections of your research documents if you want to write a literature review on any specific topic then you can put it here for example generate a literature review on deformed magnesium alloys okay so you'll be able to see that copilot feature has drafted the literature review for this specific topic and you'll be able to see the index citations as well and you'll be able to track all these citations here on the bottom side so it is always recommended to confirm all these research articles for example if i need to confirm this research article you have to click on this index citation number and here you will get the insights of this research article okay so this research article has total 16 citations it is published in 2016 so it is based on randomized controlled trials and animal trials you will be able to say this this is performed on rabbits and this about this journal this is a rigorous journal this issue is ranked in top 50 of journals measured by size score so size score is again avoid the inclusion of any predatory journal so you can obviously trust it and one more best feature is this study snapshot if you click on that then you will get the information of population like it is new zealand white rabbit sample size is 36 because i have limited the sample size which is either equal to or greater than 10 because of that i am getting the information from these research articles only if you want to cite this research article in your research paper you can click on the site and you'll be able to get this reference in different styles like mla chicago harvard etc and to get more information about this specific research article you can click on this research article you will be able to get a takeaway message summarize message the abstract of the research article and you can click on the full text if you want to access the full text of this research article so in this way this consensus ai will help you a lot in writing any of your research documents like literature review research paper uh, dissertation thesis or assignments now let us discuss about one more excellent feature of this consensus ai means you can use consensus as gpt in your chat gpt in order to do that you have to first open chat gpt and you have to click on explore gpts so under the gpts you have to just type consensus so here you will be able to see you have to click on this and then you have to click on start chart now within this chat gpt you will be having access to 200 plus millions of research articles by using this consensus means here you can use this prompt box in order to ask anything and the information that you will get from this consensus database you can attach figure you can attach any graph illustrations and you will be able to explain that with the help of the information which will be extracted from the research articles database of this consensus so in this way this consensus ai will help you a lot in writing your research documents and you will be able to create an account freely you can also use this consensus ai freely but obviously with some limited features so in order to get the paid features premium features you have to upgrade it and the plans are comparatively cheaper means you have to pay less than even 10 usd for one month so if you can afford you can go for the premium version so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you and if you still have any queries please write us through comments we'll definitely try to answer all of this so i'll see you in my next video bye bye